I did see this story, which is kind of interesting. There's a new generation of 20-somethings uh, that are wrestling with an older problem, an older age problem, 25 years maybe too early. It's a growing trend that experts are calling the quarter-life crisis. Yeah. What um, signifies? What can one see? What are the what are the symptoms of the quarter life crisis? Men and women feeling lost, wanting more, and needing a change. Okay, is this people who maybe have gone through college, got their first job out of college, and then realized, Bingo. That, like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to okay. do this. Mm-hmm. And and you know what? Just to, to clarify, quarter life crisis versus midlife crisis. Midlife crisis is. Trying to hold on to youth. Am, yes. am I correct? Yes. That's, that's when you, when you see me walking around. I'm wearing a toupee these days. <laughs> oh, God. I got my big Engelbert Humperdinck. By the way, yeah. let me make a note because yes. I would love yeah. to see that sometime. We gotta if that, you bring in toupee. some, bring in the, uh, a oh. collection of, of wigs, <laughs> I'll gladly model it. In fact, we can have like a day where I wear a particular I hairstyle. I love that. I'm right I'm like, that I'm like, a, I'm like the, uh, that Barbie you could change the hair on. Well, and Steve, if you'd like to hear more about what I have to say about this, you can come May 18th to uh, Westchester's graduation. I, I yeah. would love to be this there. This is actually one of my topics. Is it really? Well, give give us some insight. Well, just that, you know, it's, for me, it was. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, (laughs) graduate, honoree, Kathy Romano. No, but I mean, honestly, for me, um, being in radio was not what I had in my mind ever. You were TV, right? But yeah, but I mean, it's just, you know what I'm saying? I was the rodeo. It's where I ended up. And fortunately, you know what I mean? It's great. I can't stand you guys, but I really (laughs) like working for greater media. Totally get it. (laughs) So in college, I basically majored in tequila and bong hits. And uh, and so when I graduated, you minored in bong hits. You did well. Yeah. 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 Uh, When I miraculously graduated, I had nothing to show for it. And so I started out as in, I had, I did my internship at Y100 after I graduated. So there I was working for free. Yeah. Uh, and I was okay with it at the time. But my friend who was in med school, he was going to Jeff- Jefferson Med School. I remember we went and saw, we were out, um, we went and saw George Clinton at the electric factory. And we were talking and he was not having a good time. George Clinton? No, 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 no. This friend of mine who was in med school. I'm just not feeling it. That's what I thought he meant too. Yeah. I should have gone into med school. <laughs> I'm not having a good time. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Uh, my, my passion is medicine. <laughs> no, so my, my friend who was, you know, on his way to become a doctor, which you, you would think would be like the best job ever, he told me I don't that he was jealous of me and what I was doing. And at that time I was working for free for yeah. a radio station. And that, that just blew me away. And he eventually he left med school. He left the, the second semester. What's he do now? Uh I, I believe He works for George Clinton. He's a P Funk. Yeah, yeah, he's a P Funk, yeah. <laughs> he plays the, the tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> He's called the doctor, Dr. Tambourine. Uh, uh, now my concern as a parent is is making sure that my kids get into a career, you know, yeah. because I, now I'm scared all over again. Yeah. And that that kind of sucks, but, you know. And, and make sure they know how scared you are. I know. Do you realize I'm terrified about I'm your so future? I'm so scared of what's going to happen to you. Now go to bed. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. Sweet you want the, you want the light on? Right. Should I leave the light on? All right. All right. Anyway, <laughs> quarter life crisis. It's kind of a new thing. And, and uh, apparently, according to the, the emails, texts, phone calls, everything that's coming in right now, a lot of people. Uh, and and it have probably dealt with this for decades. It's been going on. We yeah. just never really had a name for it. Or it's going to be like okay. That, it's going to be all right. <laughs> coming for, for the real thing. Follow your dreams.